Today's candy spot, why we're having a look at the accoutrements Franks and Beans Bubblegum. Just like grandma's, indicated down below. Franks and Beans. Pick this up from stupid.com. I'm going to provide the link down below if you want to pick these up yourself. On the side, ingredients. Your standard ingredients for what appears to be, uh, you know, candies and bubblegum and whatnot. Nothing really else indicated on here. Just says, just like grandma. Now, I don't assume it's going to taste like beans or Franks. I guess the only way we'll find out is we'll get this opened up. For that, I'm going to need myself a knife. Hmm, gonna need myself a knife. Oh, just happen to have Frank. Frank. I just happen to have Hank. Oh, come here, Hank. It's all right, man. It's all right. Sometimes we just get old. And sometimes we just forget. No, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Hank. No, oh, Hank. Anyways, let's get Hank. I don't know why I called him Frank. Let's get Hank open. opening this package up. We're just gonna take the wrapper off. And here's a nice can. A nice metal can, I might add, too. You hear that? That's metal. That is metal. I'm going to just take the top off here. And inside, we got beans and franks. Or beans and wieners. Some sirens are going on in the background. Just dis disregard that. And we got ourselves a bean. A bean right there. A little larger than a canned baked bean. Let's give this a try though. The bean, find out what it's like. I'm gonna leave the Frank for, for last. Maybe that's why, I, that's why it was Hank. I'm sorry, Hank, Frank, see what I did there. Let's give this a try, find out what it's like, the bean. Let's try the bean. I'm not talking right now, because I'm trying to figure out whether this actually tastes like a bean. It basically just tastes like regular gum. Regular, sweet, gumball gum. I don't actually, I don't taste any beans. I think it's probably just for more novelty than anything else. Anyways, let's try the Frank. Maybe the Frank will at least at least be a little more rewarding. Just by a scale comparison, there you have the bean and the Frank. If that is a full-size hot dog, you can see that scaling is not quite accurate. But it's bubble gum. We're not going to be very nitpicking of it. Let's try the Franks from the Franks and Beans. Find out what it's like. It doesn't really taste that much different than the beans. Well, I gotta say, I'm very disappointed. If this is what grandma's putting out, I think grandma needs to get herself checked because it tastes like just regular bubble gum. I mean, you're buying it for novelty, but at least if they could have had it taste like something like Frank's and beans, that would have been a lot cooler. Buy it really for the novelty. Give it a gift to somebody that likes this kind of stuff. But unfortunately, the inside, it's just going to taste like regular bubble gum. Today's candy spot, we were having a look at the accoutrements, bubble gum, franks, and beans. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. For a thousand videos, now that's dedication. It's more than a video, that's a creation that he is making. From experience, here he is. You're curious of what his appearance is. Serious, yet he makes it fun to watch. A lot of reviewers are delirious. Well, some get props. When did the man is hot? The spot's not a man to flop. Respects the fans who watch, couldn't guess the next random spot. The spot army is now taking over. This is our spot. Sitting on top, the spot army is now taking over. I bet you're confused. Check the reviews. The spot army is now taking over. This is our spot. Sitting on top, the spot army.